Hello everyone, in this video let us try to understand WCF service library and WCF service application and we are going to host this library in WCF service application and the major thing that we are going to understand is endpoints. How do we configure endpoints in web config file of WCF service application? Let us uh, not create a very complex service as of now. Let us try to create a simple uh, service. We will be taking an example of multiplication of two numbers and uh, we will try to understand web config file and we will try to create an endpoint. So I have my Visual Studio 2013. I'm going to create a new project. So here you have two templates. One is service library and another is service application. So first of all, I'll go for service library. I will name it as multiplication service library and I'm going to make it very simple. I'll rename this I multiplication service. Say yes. In the same way I'm going to rename this to mul service say so yes and in this interface I don't want all this composite types and I need a simple operation contract I'll name it as method name is null and I'm going to pass two variables and it is going to return an integer same thing I'm going to implement so I'll just remove this which is not required So that's it. This is my simple service. I'll just right click this and rebuild this. Now if I have a look in app.config file, you will find many things. You will find service model tag which has got some kind of endpoints and all those things. But as per our discussion, as I told you, WCF service library do not require any kind of endpoints or configurations. So what I'll do here, I'll just remove this. It purely contains interfaces and classes. That's it. Right click this and rebuild this. So I'm done with my service library. Now I'm going to add new project service application so this will be my host multiplication service host and i'm going to store it in wcf folder say okay in this i do not require any cs file i do not require even this cs file save this I'll rename it as my mul service host. In this, I'm going to add reference of mul service library. Say okay. So once I have added the reference, now in service host tag, I need to name the service. The service name is nothing but mul service library dot mul service this class name service library dot mul service so this is already we have seen in our earlier videos so i'll rebuild this now i'll look into the web.config file you again have some settings in system dot service model i want to get rid of all these things so i want to do this config settings from scratch now save this now let me rebuild this 
I'll right click on this service and I'll say set this as startup project and set this as start page let me execute this as of now I do not have any endpoint now there will be an error it says that service metadata may not be accessible make sure okay fine so I do not have any endpoint so what I'll be doing I'll just select this project right click go for properties and in web you can find the address so address is nothing but this now if you want to change the port number you can change it here whatever you want you can give we are using IIS Express we are going to host this service on IIS so it is anyway it is a web host so definitely we are going to host it on IIS so if you are hosting on IIS the protocol that it supports is HTTP so my address is this so I'll copy this and I'll just close this now you can see there is no endpoint here I need to configure endpoint so we created this DLL we hosted here now in web config file I need to configure endpoint now how to configure endpoint right click on web config file say edit WCF configuration in service click on create new service service type so I need to browse in my host in bin I'll find multiplication service library dot dll multiplication service library dot mul service so this is the service type and this is contract it has automatically gathered the information and it has selected the contract as interface i mul service so ABC this is the C part of ABC endpoint is nothing but information about address binding and contract so first information is contract information contract is I multiplication service next is binding information the binding I'm using here is HTTP next address information I need to give anyway HTTP basic binding now what is advanced we will see this in in future videos as of now basic HTTP binding we are going with address as I told you I need to give that address over here slash my mul service host dot SVC I'll say next so here you get the information that is contract binding and address so ABC of WCF that is nothing but endpoint it says finish close this say yes so it has generated the endpoint now let me say save all right click I'll say browse with Chrome so we have access to the service but metadata is disabled as of now you can see that you can enable metadata metadata is nothing but information about this service metadata is nothing but information of about something so here it is the information about the service so information about the service is not available even though service is available so if you want to make the information of about service available there are two steps that are required